Hey friends, on today's video, we are looking at the Kroger Health Pro blood glucose monitoring system. And specifically, we're looking at how to load this little Lancer. This is the lancets that you need to put inside this. It's gonna prick your finger and allow for a blood sample. So we're gonna show you how to load this thing and how to prep it for that sample. Okay, friends, remember this is not an official tutorial. I'm in no way a doctor. I'm just showing you how I use this specific thing to monitor my glucose levels. I'm actually not even a diabetic, but this is something that's kind of healthy for people that do have higher blood sugar levels and just kind of monitoring to see what foods potentially are making your blood sugar rise. So on today's video, we're gonna be focusing on this little Lancer, and this is what is used to take your little blood sample. It, it pricks your finger to create a little droplet of blood that you can then put on this little test strip that goes into the monitor to give you the proper reading. But this little Lancer can be a little bit uh, hard to understand exactly how it works. So I wanna show you what to do and how to load this thing. So uh, what we first need to do is we need to make sure that we have a little Lancet one of these guys inside of our test lancer here. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take an angle, I'm gonna be pulling off the top here. And that's this little twist top area. Put that off to the side for a sec. And that leaves a little opening where we can put our lancet. So we're gonna go into our little bag here. I'm gonna pull out one of these blue lancets. And basically what we're gonna do, uh, it doesn't really matter which way you put it in, we're just gonna push this down into the Lancer and this is gonna cock back our little spring loader. So as you can hear, it cocked it back there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna very gently just twist off this top part and that's gonna reveal the needle underneath. And we can go ahead and discard this little plastic piece. Now again, this is cocked back, so be very careful not to get your finger in this general area. You don't want this thing accidentally poking uh, you in a way that's gonna be harmful. So again, this is cocked back. That is gonna be our push button trigger, so be careful, keep your fingers away from that. All right, once we have this exposed, we can put our cap back on. And basically what we wanna do is we wanna make sure our little numbers that are on the front, this is our depth gauge, is towards the front here. We're just gonna put that straight in like that and push it on. You'll hear it snap closed. Okay, at this point, we are going to twist our little numbering system to get to the correct setting. Uh, for soft skin, you can go to a really low uh, depth gauge. This is gonna be just a really short little prick. If you have soft fingers, if you have calloused fingers, then you may need to go a little bit deeper. This goes all the way up to nine. And nine is again is going to be a little bit deeper. So I usually keep mine at around six or seven. I just have you know the basic medium range uh, fingers, and this seems to do the trick. Okay, we're now ready to go ahead and enable this thing. And so again, all you need to do is put your finger on top of this, push down just slightly. Again, you don't need to push hard, just push down just slightly. And then we're gonna hit that trigger. It's gonna come through, it's gonna prick just a little bit. It really doesn't hurt, it really doesn't hurt me. Again, this may be different sensitivities for a lot of different people. Uh, but once you click that trigger, you can hear it go up. Again, you didn't even see anything come out of there, but it will prick it just slightly there and then you'll have a droplet of blood on your finger, which you can then put on the test strip. Again, that is how you load and prep this little Lancer. I hope that's helped, friends. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. Stay tuned, we're actually gonna make a bunch more tutorials on this specific glucose monitor, and those will be coming up very, very soon. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.